So every time I start something here, I think, okay, I'm going to make this, and then it turns out to be something else. But, <laughs> okay, so those little pouring things that I make uh, to put water in the iron, to melt butter in, to pour it over popcorn. Um, what else do I do with those? Anything that I have to pour, like vinegar into the laundry, um, to, you know, pour it into that little hole in the middle of the agitator so that it, it will release during the rinse cycle. You have to hit that pretty precisely. And so, uh, and it has to either be big enough or small enough. So to have a couple of those around the house is pretty handy, uh, I think, um, because I have one that's the right size for the iron. Where is my throwing thingamajig? Um, so I have one for the iron, I've got one for popcorn butter, got one for the vinegar. The one for the iron isn't quite, uh, quite big enough. And the one for the, well, the one for the popcorn is okay, but anyway, so I think I'm going to make a, a larger one of those, or kind of a mid-size, let's call it that. So, so basically, it's a kind of a container with a spout on it, and a nice little precise spout, not a not a wimpy spout. Isn't it amazing how you can be away from this for a while and just come right back to it? I'm not sure I could throw a giant bowl right this minute, but uh, these these smaller things that I've made millions of, it seems to seems to be coming back to me pretty well. Ah, poo. It's got too much water in it. All right, so let's go from here up. And I'm going to make it larger than I think I need it. Because I always tend to not do it big enough. Okay. Well, my neighbor's been banging on the drums and cymbals and electric guitar and every kind of thing imaginable since about three o'clock this morning. And it's, um, he didn't slow up until around, I don't know, I think it was around two o'clock. Uh, this afternoon. I mean, I don't think you have to be there. I mean, if you can turn your oven on uh, from remote stuff that you have on your phone, those apps, and you do your, um, people can look at their, the people that come to their porch and talk to them and unlock the door or do stuff like that remotely, then you can turn on and off uh, some kind of stereo equipment. So I'm not sure that the, just because I'm hearing all that noise, I'm not sure at all that he has to be there for it to be happening. And, you know, I, I don't know if he's there or not, but my God, the people never sleep. 
And consequently, I'm not sleeping much myself. It's just a really constant problem. And since he's got everything soundproofed, all I'm getting is the low frequency, you know, the bass and the booming and the, the vibration from the uh, low frequency. And those subwoofers throw off quite a bit of energy with the pressure change, you know, they're, they kind of wiggle back and forth like that and they, they change the air pressure in the vicinity that it's in thus changing the uh, charge on the molecules in the air and it's quite uncomfortable being being near one of those things let's see i'm gonna take my okay i think i'll use this guy and I'm gonna, so this is a glazed uh, rib that I made myself. And I glazed it just to see whether or not that would be better and, you know, slide across the clay a little easier than the ones that are not glazed that are just waxed. And I think that they do. So I'm going to skinny this in above the foot. and draw it up just a bit more. And I like them glazed. They just they feel a little more fragile, but you know, I've had this one for a few years and I haven't broken it, so maybe not. Maybe I'll make a whole new set and um, glaze all of them. So I glazed it both sides, and I put I put a put this one on a stilt and then fired it like that. I guess I could hang them from something like that. No, I haven't tried that. But they're awfully heavy for something to hang, and when you have heavy things hanging, glazed things hanging in a kiln, um, sometimes they come off of a little hanger because the wire actually will, it, it moves, it, it kind of melts and then it gets stronger again as it starts to cool off. Not the safest way of doing it, and I mean, I mean safest in for the piece, you know, because it usually, if it moves and starts to sag, then the piece is usually heavy enough to just fall off, or the whole wire kind of fails and and it falls, and then you've got it stuck to the shelf. Okay, so this is probably tall enough, so I'm gonna skinny it in just a little bit. Let me get that wet. Okay, so I'm just going to skinny it in up here a little more at the top and make it taller. Whoa! Let's see if I can do that without messing it up. Well, you can hear them again now. They're, they really love that bass. They claim to be rock musicians, but uh, to me it's just a little... I, and you know, I'm not against music. I'm not against rock music. I, there's, gee whiz, I grew up in the 60s. I love rock and roll. Oh my goodness. But there are just some things that just rattle your brains and and to have it constantly and all I'm getting is the bass, you know, I'm not getting the the higher notes or the the other frequencies, the other tones you might say. 
I'm not getting any of that. All I'm getting is the base. And it's really um, nerve-wracking. And I think he does it on purpose because they vibrate the, the house so much that the, the, um, my car alarm goes off in the garage. And there's nothing I can do about it except uh, take off the, um, remove the um, battery cable. And I have friends that are that live near me that I feel obligated uh, to be ready to run if somebody needs help because I've got some friends that are, well, one in particular that's older a lot older than I am. So I'm gonna push this in and start to make this spout right here. So on this, when you're making something that you want to pour, but you don't want it to dribble, and you don't want, um, you don't want it to spill either. So it helps to make a spout that is kind of pointed and then to sort of corral it in so that it's really, let me see if you can see that. Okay, so you can see how, um, how pointed that's getting there where the spout is. So let me put it back on here because we're gonna put some decoration on it somewhere. And so if you make these little side things stick in, you can keep from sloshing it all over the place. And there's a particular shape. I don't want it sticking way out on from side to side. But I need to be able to fill it at the sink. And then, and I like that shape. So now what I think I'll do is put some little indentations on the side so that when you pick it up, it's almost like having a handle there without having a handle there but you have a little place to be able to grab it and hang on to it in case it's slick or if your hands are wet or something. And I've got a rock here and it's, it's a river rock, it's pretty smooth so I can sort of make that a little more pronounced. And over here, do the same thing. There we go. And then you can clean that up, uh, you know, you can smooth this out once you have it a little bit drier. So we have, do, 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 let's see what we can do here. I'm taking a paintbrush handle I kind of want that to point down so that on the profile it won't be dripping. So as you can see there, this is a real good uh, profile on this. And if you, um, you know, to the slightest little scoring on the inside of a teapot spout, for example, can change the direction of the flow. And I'm sure that that's true on something like this as well. So I like to make sure that that is pretty smooth where the water is going to go or wherever, whatever fluid it is is going to go so that I don't have a broken stream of whatever it is. So, okay, sometimes you just need to quit once you get there, right? 
Okay, so there it is. I'll take the camera and Now, when I'm, I've compressed the edge of this thing, but it also needs to be sponged off. Let's see. So there's what the top of it looks like, and then there's what the side looks like with that little dimple on the side. And here is a good look at the Okay, so should be able to, when this is finished, should be able to just pick this up, put a thumb in the little indention here, and then fingers in the other side, and just pour water in the iron or whatever you need. Okay, well, thanks for watching. This was kind of a short one. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.